Thank you everyone uh, for coming uh, and raising this uh, event. I firstly thank uh, Mr. Subraja for his support and uh, he has been an inspiration for all of us uh, in putting up this you know, fish tank program together, sir. First of all, thank you, sir. And uh, I thank the industry partner, Pratibhama University team, uh, Dr. Sheila uh, and your team uh, has been really, really supportive of putting this program together. <coughs> I thank the jurors uh, for you know, bringing the insight uh, into evaluating the applications that we have received. So firstly, I was uh, really surprised to receive about 217 applications. I was never, never imagining that like there are so many aquaculture related startups in India, right? So that was one thing that surprised me because I tell you in, we started this company in the month of April 2017, right? So when I came into this industry, I came into this industry accidentally. So I saw a farmer uh, in a serendipitous meeting. That's when I got introduced to aquaculture. And uh, that's how we kind of, you know, came into this sector. And uh, that's my introduction to aquaculture, right? So when I was researching this sector, they were just, they was just one another startup that was into aquaculture. In 2017, when you had, you know, 10,000, 20,000 startups that are working in IT, IT services. So that's the state of affairs in 2017. Fast forward 2023, we had about 217 applications. So we have to, we have to give it up to all the entrepreneurs who are, you know, participating <coughs> in this uh, uh, value chain. So when we floated this program, Fish Tank, people asked us, like, why, right? So in Tamil, there is a saying, Tani Maram Topagad, right? So that essentially means that we would like to create an industry, right? So there is an agenda for us also. Like, we will also be getting benefited. So when software industries were, you know, uh, as an industry, software never started as an industry. There were, like, two or three entrepreneurs who started, you know, uh, um, uh, Infosys, TCS, and this kind of Wipro kind of an organization, slowly this has become an industry, right? So with fish tank kind of initiatives, what we are trying to do is we are trying to build an industry together, right? So we painstakingly created the railroads. Let's say like, uh, when I said like there were only two startups, one us and there was one more startup. And now we see that like there are plenty of startups that are coming into this sector. So when I talk about aquaculture, aquaculture has got many, uh, uh, you know, uh, subsectors as well, right? So we are talking about marine aquaculture, we're talking about land-based aquaculture. In the aquaculture value chain, there is a production value chain. There is Behind that, there is a biotechnology uh, innovation value chain. On the other side, we have got like food processing, exports, logistics. So there is a plenty of opportunity, right? So when people from outside, when they look at us, oh, are you an IoT startup? Are you doing this? That what I see here is there is a plenty of opportunity. And as an aquaculture startup, what we are trying to do here is we are trying to build an industry, right, with the right support from the government, uh, uh, like startup team and the academia. So this is how we'll be able to you know build an industry. And I also I'll tell you what other problems that I had uh, uh, when we started, right. So unlike uh, the IT startups or the software startups, you cannot start anything in the manufacturing or such kind of, you know, agro industry that like in one room, I'll just take, you know, four uh, tables and four computers and I'm kind of going to transform this whole industry. I'll create a TikTok, I'll create a LinkedIn, I'll create this. So this is not going to be possible, right? So as uh, um, Mr. Santana has rightly pointed out, you've got to be on the ground. You've got to talk to different stakeholders. Their life is completely different. They speak different languages, right? They may have finances. They may not have finances. So there are plenty of challenges. And when there are plenty of challenges, I see there are plenty of opportunities as well. So those opportunities cannot be just leveraged by one start. Right? So this needs to be an industry. So what we are trying to do with the support of government and the other academy is to create an industry. We are creating the railroads. With the railroads, let's say like we have been working with about uh, 
50,000 odd farmers, and then about 700 other retailers who are present in the nook and corners of Indian rural India, right? Rural uh, villages. So this gives a huge distribution opportunity for us to take your technology and plug and play it in any farms. Right? So you don't have to painstakingly develop all these railroads. Railroads have already been built with startups like us. I'm not just claiming aquaponic, I'm just claiming whoever has built in this kind of a market value chain, right? So there is a benefit for any new startup or a student who is innovating a new technology can uh, talk to us or similar startups who have got a you know value chain uh, 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 railroad. So they'll be able to plug and play. So we wanted to invite startups to collaborate with us or with our uh, uh, similar uh, natured companies as well, so that they will be able to speed up their <coughs> market uh, reach up. Right. So that's one idea why we had uh, uh, initiated this program. And uh, uh, I, I just want to thank uh, Mr. Gautam from your team, sir. He was a uh, ex startup CEO, so he tremendously uh, collaborated with my team to be able to come up with this. Uh, uh, program. So I really thank him for his uh, contribution uh, on, on this uh, event. And this is uh, uh, a start, I would say. I'm looking forward to uh, participate, collaborate with Startup Team and other academic uh, institutions as well to be able to uh, bring this program every year and invite uh, new startups so that they'll be able to have a kind of a, uh, affinity towards this industry. Even though if you are working from a different industry, Let's say like you are in the clean tech, water clean tech industry, but you would like to you know engage with aquaculture industry. So this could be one of the platform where you can you know come and start working with us and the fellow startups as well. Right. So that is the whole intent of putting this program together. I sincerely welcome you all to this uh, uh, the new world that we have created, and I look forward to be uh, uh, you know collaborating and uh, also invite uh, helping each other. It's not that like we are there and then uh, the new startups uh, they have to you know, seek help and we would also seek help from them. So it's a, it's a truly collaborative uh, platform that we would like to create uh, with the help of uh, a startup team and other academia. So thank you so much. Look forward to collaborating.